this video I'm going to talk about the real-time recommendation system of uh, TikTok so I will be using the UI of the Instagram Reels to explain the TikTok because I am not on TikTok so to begin with there are two kinds of features which are uh, uh, important for recommendations first are explicit feature and second are implicit features so by explicit features are generated from the explicit user interactions why so never like you are liking the content you can simply like it and if you are just not engaging with it you can simply report it so these are the explicit features and also commenting and sharing these are also having a strong correlation between the liking the content so these explicit features they encode uh, explicit user interactions and the second features are uh, implicit features so implicit features are derived from the implicit user behavior uh, they are generated from uh, the from the implicit user interactions so whenever like you are uh, liking the particular video you are going to watch it multiple times so watch time is also a implicit uh, uh, feature so if you are like uh, disliking it or you are not enjoying it you can swipe swipe it up immediately in the matter of seconds so these are the implicit and explicit user uh, features so this is a paper by tiktok which explains the system design of real-time recommendation engine and the optimizations which they did to improve improve upon recommendations so the first observation was like the distribution of data is non-stationary and there is a concept drift like uh, the user taste and user interest they are changing like uh, in the matter of seconds and minutes so this distribution of the training data is non-stationary so the model needs to be trained in a periodic manner in uh, like in the real time to understand the distribution of the training data so the more observations were like uh, like there were some videos which are not contributing in the recommendations like uh, the videos which are very very old and which or which are like not very very popular they are like seldom important in the recommendations so those all needs to be sorted out so they needs to be removed from the training data or they like uh, we can decrease their weightage by so a particular margin like we can give a very very less weight to those uh, videos which are uh, trivial and uh, not important and uh, so this kind of uh, sorting procedures needs to be adopted and also like there are some more more observations like uh, uh, collisions and uh, other things which i want to skip to for the sake of brevity so let's suppose sonam is on the tiktok and she is swiping the reels up and up so this way like from the implicit and explicit user interactions so model is able to capture and it's able to perform the real time gradient updates whereas in youtube the model is retrained several times a day and uh, it's not a real time recommendation system and the gradients are computed several times a day whereas in tiktok kind of system so this gradient gradient updates in is real time now let's jump to the diagram mm, yeah i think this diagram is like difficult to explain so i think i will again <laughs> you jump to whiteboard to explain it like quite intuitive way so that like the wider audience can understand it so let's jump to the whiteboard now let's suppose a user who is a binod binod is like very good at tiktok and he's spending like 12 hours a day on tiktok so whenever binod queries a model some uh, 100 to 200 recommendations are generated let's say so some recommendations are generated so like suppose binod is not liking that uh, videos and like he is that is quite visible in like uh, his uh, explicit uh, disliking and see he is simply like reporting the videos and uh, or he is it's also visible into uh, Im implicit interactions like he is swiping up 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 so that means like binod is not interested so what uh, 
uh, it will do is like it will dump all the data into storage similarly like it will send this updated data to uh, serving parameter service so serving parameter service will like perform some gradient descent and update the parameters in the real time like so it will update the into real time and and then when then the new reels will be like presented to Binod again and Binod will start enjoying this content and uh, let's suppose after like uh, eight or nine hours like in the hours of swiping this parameter service is not able to it's not able to perform the better gradient updates so after that this entire architecture will enter into the bash training stage and it will take all the historical data and uh, like the, again the model will en enter into uh, training stage and then then again the new recommendations will be generated so this all is based on some sync interval and this sync interval should be like uh, as short as possible like so if the sync interval is very very short short like then the recommendations are very very good so particularly like it's in like uh, some hours like uh, it's quite subjective like uh, it has a trade-off if the sync interval is too too large then the recommendations suffer like if it's like too less then uh, our resources suffer so this is like high level architecture so now it's quite visible from the results section that the shorter the sync interval the better our accuracy is so it's uh, like all this also visible in this table and the shorter the sync interval like uh, there's like zero uh, 14 points improvement in accuracy like this 0.14 percent improvement in accuracy is like very very significant whereas like uh, the online training uh, stream based uh, system and it is like uh, performing the better results than the batch training one so like this diagram to reveal the same findings so it, as you can see the like the 30 minutes sync interval is yielding the best results whereas like one hour uh, sync interval like it's um, like giving less say you see so like uh, it is like quite subjective like the shorter the sync interval the better accuracy now it's upon to the organization like how much accuracy they want and how much they want to spend to yield better results.